Right, good evening everybody. This is just a quick audio test from me before we start. Right, we are live. Good evening, everybody. If you can hear me and see me okay, please let me know in the chat um, if everything is working fine. Um, yeah, my name's Paul Grogan, and it's going to be a late night Paul plays through a new computer game stream. This is Mars Horizon. Uh, I've been really excited about this game for the last few months. Um, so, because I'm, you know, I did astrophysics university, I like anything to do with space exploration and everything like that. What's been really difficult is I've actually been trying to avoid most of the information about this game because I wanted this video to be a first look at the game. I've only just launched it up 10 minutes ago, well 15 minutes ago to make sure it worked okay. Um, here we go, we're gonna we're gonna jump in. This is out today. Okay, so um, I actually got a Steam key for this uh, about four or five days ago um, and they said you can start producing content but as you know I've been quite busy um, but today's the day I was going to do the content and today's the day it actually went out. So if you are interested in this game uh, it is available as of today. I am not on any commission. This is not a sponsored video at all in any way. Um, this video is uh, basically paid for, supported through my Patreon campaign. So if you like the content that I make and you're in a position to be able to support me, if you're not already supporting me, most of the people in the chat are already supporters of mine. Thank you very much for joining in. We're going to jump in now. We're going to click on new game. I assume that's what we do. Um, let me know if the sound coming from the game uh, is too quiet or too loud compared to me. I can adjust it. And yeah, I've not actually played this. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to select an agency and this is what I'm going to use uh, for you to decide. So we're either going to be the ESA, the uh, NASA, the Soviet Union, China or Japan. What do you want me to do in the chat? Let me know which of these you want me to play. Uh, it looks like each one of them has different bonuses. But yeah, who knows? Who knows? So yeah, give me your choices now. ESA, NASA, Soviet Union, China or Japan. Uh, and I'll give the chat a minute to decide. Music has a Star Trek vibe. Music Background music is a bit loud. Right, I'll turn it down, Brett. Uh, there you go. Hopefully that is better. Uh, so we have ESA, 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 Japan with an exclamation mark. So you get bonus points for an exclamation mark. Another ESA, says Jim. Another one. Oh, that's three for Japan. Three for Japan, five for ESA. It looks like it's going to be ESA. Oh no, five, four. Oh, it's close. Now the ESA apparently helped. Um, I don't know. They're involved. They were involved in this game. I don't know whether they've partly funded it or something like that. But nobody seems to want NASA, the Soviet Union, or China. It is now six all. Japan and ESA. Richard has just had the casting vote. Thank you, Richard. ESA. We're going for right. No more votes, please. So, an intergovernmental inter organization of 22 member states, the European Space Agency, is dedicated to the peaceful exploration of space. Shoot to kill. Um, agency bonuses. 50% rewards plus 50% rewards for joint missions. Okay. I'm assuming this will make sense later on. Uh, science income bonus from friendly and allied diplomatic relationships increased by 50% and doubled chance of being offered joint missions. And we have a customize agency button. Now, I'm not going to do this because... I don't know what any of this means, but it looks like you can actually tweak it and customize it even further. Excellent. Uh, and Carl says you can see the SpaceX launches from his front lawn. Very cool. Very cool. We can't see that from my front lawn. Uh, I can see some trees, but that's about it. Space trees. Right. We can play on Explorer, Pioneer or Veteran. Now, it's enabled Pioneer by default, but I'm just going to go here. Explorer, a more relaxed experience. I think that's what we need. Missions are less demanding and there'll be reduced competition from other space agencies. That's what I'm going to go for for tonight. 
I know if I ask the chat, you're going to want me to play on like stupidly hard mode and crash and burn. But the default setting looks like it's Pioneer for a balanced experience. But no, I'm going to go with Explorer. So the tutorial is going to be enabled. Uh, let me know if the, if the music is better. Because I've turned it down, but I've just noticed it's starting to get loud again. Auto resolve option. Yeah, we'll leave that there. Oh, and you can customise the experience as well. Okay, so you've got quite a lot of customization, it appears. We're going to start the game and see what see what's going on. Welcome, Director. You are entrusted with guiding our agency through this dawning space age and far beyond. Make use of our diplomatic expertise to promote international cooperation and scientific scientific innovation, and place our agency at the forefront of humanity's voyage into space. Only by working together can we realise feats long thought impossible. With your leadership, we will uncover the mysteries of the solar system and perhaps one day make humans a multi multi-planetary species. Bon chance, director. That's me, director. Right. So the tutorial is on, so I'm hoping it's going to guide us through because there's lots of stuff on screen. The solar system screen is your gateway to the various aspects involved in running your agency, such as accessing the research and base screens, selecting planets to discover available missions and viewing recent and upcoming events. I just realised I'm going to be talking a lot and I don't have any water. I might need to pop downstairs and get a glass of water in a minute. Right. So, continue. Uh, your current tutorial objectives are tracked here. Okay. Completing these tasks is a great way to get your agency up and running. Right. So, I'm going to like this. I'm going to like this tutorial. Um, your first objective is a crucial first step for any new space agency. Constructing and launching an experimental sounding rocket to test and improve your booster technology. Right. Selecting a planetary body in the solar system screen will display a list of missions associated with that body. So highlight Earth. Okay. And click left click. Oh, continue. Highlight Earth. Left click. Right. Big screen. Lots of stuff. <laughs> So this is the mission selection screen. It displays all missions belonging to the selected planetary body. Details of the currently selected mission can be seen here, such as the length of the mission and the rewards on offer. Okay. Uh, there are two types of mission, milestones and requests. Milestone missions are important for advancing your space program and will be contested by other agencies. They will often require additional research. Request missions are, will become available as your agency completes milestone missions and can be a valuable way of boosting your support and science. Uh, request missions don't require additional research, but each is only available for a limited time. Right. Research required to unlock the currently selected mission will be listed here. Note that all required research has already been completed for the test launch. All the space agencies will be racing to complete milestone missions first. Doing so will result in increased support for your agency. So you can track the progress of the five agencies in terms of the currently selected mission. Right, okay. Music is still a bit loud. Okay, I'll turn it down a bit more. There you go. Um, okay. Uh, once you're ready, select plan mission to start planning the test launch mission. Okay, so test launch is the milestone. We can't do these because they're locked. Plan mission. Okay, select vehicle. The mission plan includes each stage necessary to take a mission from the drawing board and up into space. Note that each mission plan takes up one mission slot. You can unlock additional mission slots by constructing mission control buildings. Okay. A test launch has no payload, so you can get straight to designing the launch vehicle. Let's do that. Right. On this screen, you'll be able to select previous vehicle designs or choose to start a new design. For the test launch, only sounding rockets can be selected. Okay. I'm not sure what a sounding rocket is, but that's what we're going to do. Um, so we select this. Uh, th this tutorial is nice. I like the way it pops up. This is the vehicle designer where you'll be able to design the vehicle for your mission. Okay. A vehicle is made up of a booster and an upper stage. The booster must be able to carry the upper stage, whilst the upper stage must be able to carry the payload. Note that for a test launch, only the sounding rocket may be selected and there is no payload. Right, yes, accept that. Uh, vehicle starts where you can check the booster has enough capacity to carry the upper stage. Okay, 
uh, and the vehicle can reach the minimum distance required by the mission. Okay. Uh, note that the launch pad requirements is not currently met. The sounding rocket requires a small launch pad, and that icon there means we've got to build it, I guess. You can still design and build a vehicle without the required launch pad, but you will need to build the launch pad in order to be able to launch it. Yes. Launch reliability is a key stat that determines the chance of the vehicle launching without an error. As an experimental vehicle, the sounding rocket has a very low mm, however it will gain a large amount of mm per launch, even if it blows up. Okay, that's launch reliability. The sounding rocket is a valid design for the mission, so it can now be confirmed. Okay, so, two months to build, cost 80k. Booster's lift capacity determines the upper stage it can carry. A greater lift capacity will allow the booster to carry heavier up stages. It must be equal to or greater than the upper stage mass, but the upper stage mass is zero, which seems odd. Maybe because it's just a tutorial. We will see. Once the vehicle has been constructed, you'll receive a construction report from your engineers, which will include traits that may affect how you approach the next stage of the mission plan. If you have the necessary funds, which I think I do, yes, I do, um, you'll be able to move on to the final stage and set a launch date. Okay. So launch reliability is low, but then there's the orange bit, whatever that is, and then there's the green bit, Okay, so critical failure, 18%. So there's an 18% chance that something will badly go wrong. Uh, a 52% chance that there'll be a negative effect. 22% chance of launch success. And 8% that something really good happens. Okay. Small launch pad required. Okay, well, I'm liking the visuals. I mean, I have seen the visuals before from the little bits that I've seen, and it does look nice. So we're going to build it. Vehicle approved. It's going to be built in March 1957. Okay, so that's where we are. We're currently in 19 1957. Let's go back to the solar system. Okay. Now that the sounding rocket is constructing, it's time to build the launch pad capable of launching it. The first step is to complete the appropriate small launch pad research. Ah, so we haven't researched it yet. Various screens crucial to, to running your agency can be accessed here. When you're ready, select the research icon to select the research to access the research screen. That's this. Let's just have a look at the other ones. Okay. Research. Oh, here we go. Uh, where you find new technology vital to progressing your space program, the screen is split up into three research trees, missions, buildings, and vehicles. Okay. Yep. I see that here. Uh, this is the missions tree which contains research necessary to unlock new missions and their respective payloads. Right. Each tree is made up of nodes that represent certain technologies or areas of research. These nodes will often require the completion of other nodes before they can be researched. Yeah, I guess that's the normal tech trees type stuff. Carl's saying sounding rockets do research. Okay, right. Uh, for example, the mission research artificial satellite must be completed before the payload research. Yes. Okay. Each research node requires a certain amount of science to complete. Science can be earned via missions and buildings. Uh, note that you can select a new node to view more details on that research. Can't yet. Each research tree is split into eras, which represent the technological age. Reaching a new era on any tree will unlock the planetary bodies in the solar system. New planetary bodies, right. Completing all available research in a single area, era will grant a powerful reward, right. When you're ready, select the buildings tree in order to select the small launch pad. I'm just going to have a look at these. Oh, no, I didn't want to research that. <laughs> I think I accidentally started researching that. Right, buildings. Let's follow the instructions. The buildings tree is key to expanding your base and the capabilities of your agency. To be able to launch your first mission, you'll need to research the small launch pad. Select the small launch pad to view its details and then left click. Okay, so... So you don't, yeah, so you move your mouse over it to, to look at it. So it's going to cost 50k, has 5k upkeep, takes a month to build. Uh, off we go. It needs 80 science. Now, where's the science? Here's the science. Zero, but we are generating 113 from buildings. Okay. I guess we go back. Yes, right. Here you can keep track of the resources vital to run your agency, so funds, science, and support. Ah, that's what that is. Thumbs up, thumbs down is support. Uh, it's support is primarily earned from completing missions. Earning support is key to reaching higher funding tiers. 
which will increase your monthly funds income. Um, cash, whatever it said that was called. Uh, funds is required for constructing vehicles, buildings and many other key aspects, yes. Science is earned for missions and buildings, crucial to conducting research, yes. Upcoming events, so we can see here we've got a funding review in 12 months and the Duchess is complete in two months. Okay, past events will appear here. Right, okay. Uh, keep an eye on these events to see what other agencies are up to. Now just notice you can't quite see the left hand side of the screen because it's slightly cut off with the chat. So bear with us a minute. I am just going to shrink things a little bit so that you can see it. Uh, where is it? Mars Horizon, there you go. Layout, do that. And if I move that in, There you go. Okay, so you can see it now. So I've switched the screen a little bit um, just so you can see those icons on the left hand side. <clears throat> right, pressing next month will advance time by one month. I'm glad it's not a real time game. I do like my turn based games um, or ones that you can slow down so much that it is effectively um, turn based. Frodo's just popped into chat. Hiya, thank you for joining in. So yeah, we're going to do next month. There you go. Small launch pad research complete. Uh, they are an essential service structure for launching vehicles, allowing maintenance work and providing data about the vehicle ahead of launch. Well, let's build it then. Once a new building has been unlocked, it can be constructed in your base, which is this icon here. Hey, check this out. It's very green. Uh, expanding your base is vital to increasing your agency's launch capabilities and much more besides. On this screen, you'll be able to construct new buildings that you've researched, move or demolish existing buildings, and clear obstructions to create more space. So Q and E to rotate the screen, uh, and then the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. As you've now researched the small launch pad, you'll be able to construct it as long as you have the required funds, which I think I do. Nice. So we can zoom in, we can zoom out. Can't zoom in that much. That's as far as it'll let me go, but we can move around. Okay, which is quite nice. We can also scroll with the keys. Right, so we're gonna build small launch pad, 50K. Each building will have a unique effect, many of which will be crucial to improve. Yes. Buildings also have a build cost and upkeep. You'll need to be able to afford both in order to construct the building. You'll only be able to construct one of the most. You'll only be able to construct one one of most buildings, but some can have their building limit increased via further research. Okay, so I can't build another HQ, which is why it's saying building uh, limit is reached. Rene has just popped into the chat. Hi, Rene. Thank you for joining in. Uh, so we're going to build a small launch pad. Uh, if you can't afford it, wait a month or two until you can. I can afford it. So we're going to click that. And we're going to build it. So cost is this. Upkeep is this. It's going to be a month to build. We don't have any build. Right. New building can be placed wherever there is sufficient space. Building top on top of removable obstructions is possible as long as you can afford the additional cost you can rotate the building with X and Z. Each building has potential positive and negative adjacency effects determined by the building it's placed next to. This is quite detailed, this. I like this. Try placing this one alongside different buildings to compare effects. Plan your layout, base layout carefully to get the most out of adjacency effects. Okay, so if we put it here, ah, down at the bottom, is that it? Minus two vehicle build time, minus one payload reliability. We don't want that. Oh, so I can see, there you go. We've got a red, a red symbol there saying that that's, that's giving a negative effect, whereas there is a positive effect. So we want it next to this, whatever this is, whatever that building is there, we want it next to that. So I think I'm gonna put it here. So we get minus 2% on vehicle build time. And we can rotate it. What did it say was the rotation? Okay. Yeah. I don't think it matters, so we're going to put it there. Ooh. Your small launch pad is now constructing. Once complete, you'll be able to launch your first rocket. Hooray! I don't think we're going to get to Mars tonight. If you were expecting me to get to Mars in tonight's playthrough, it's 1957. I don't think we're going to get to Mars. Right, so that is being built. Uh, that cost us quite a lot of money, so we don't have much left. Now, according to this funding, we're getting 60k in each time. But the upkeep is 5, which is why it's showing us 55. Buildings, we're getting 113. 
and we've got a 3% friendly modifier from NASA. Okay, and support, we've got 50 support. Right, who knows what that is, but let's go back. Now that the previous research is complete, you'll need to select a new one. A good early choice is the artificial satellite mission, which will allow your agency to start working towards putting its first payload into space, a major milestone in space exploration. Right, so we go to research and we're going to select missions and we're going to do the mission artificial satellite. 250 points of science needed. We're generating 113 a turn, so that's going to be a few months before we do that, but I think that's it. I think we now do next month. Yeah. Good tutorial so far. This is nice. <clears throat> it's taking me through it step by step. I was a little worried when I saw some of the the amount of detail that this game has that it was going to sort of throw me in at the deep end, but it's okay. Plan 9 from outer space was in 1959, so I might get there since Kyle. <laughs> That's true. Right, we have built a small launch pad. So now it's time to launch our rocket. Test launch vehicle complete. The Duchess. Uh, our engineers managed to optimize the vehicle's attitude control systems. Okay, so that was a random event, presumably. Um, that basically means we've got an extra 5% launch reliability. Okay, so... The final stage of the mission plan involves assigning crew. Well, no, I don't think we're having any crew on this one, are we? And setting the launch date. <clears throat> yes, as this is an uncrewed mission, no crew will need to be assigned. Training is also locked for now until the appropriate buildings are constructed in your base. I also don't know what the ultimate aim of this game is. I don't know if there's a win condition or you just play it and you progress through and you, you do stuff and maybe it's just one of those games where you just do stuff and it's it's good. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Probably not in part one, but maybe, maybe in a later part. Uh, all that remains is to set the all-important launch date for the mission. Okay. So let's select launch date. Ah, right. One, on the calendar screen, you'll be able to set a launch date for your mission. Each month is a launch window. There are three types of launch window, optimal, suboptimal, and invalid. I guess red is invalid. Optimal windows are ideal launch dates. Suboptimal windows carry a reliability, uh, sorry, a launch reliability penalty, but can be worth risking in order to launch your mission earlier. You cannot launch on an invalid window. Yeah, so it's not told me green, orange, and red, but I guess that's what it is. For milestone missions, you can view the progress of the other agencies of the current missions here. Uh, you'll also be able to see their scheduled launches in the calendar. Be sure to schedule your launch uh, before those of other agencies if you want to beat them in the milestone. Right, interesting. Yes. Uh, if you win the game, you get a job offer from NASA. Oh, cool. <laughs> Brett is saying, I've got to find the obelisk on Mars by 2001. <laughs> nice. Nice. So, we could launch in April. Or May. What's that changing? doesn't appear to be changing anything. Oh, it says here, optimal and suboptimal. Yeah, nothing is changing. But if I go to there, that's bad. So why don't I launch in April? I might as well launch in April. What's this current date? Yeah, let's launch in April. Can't see why not. With the launch date set, the final step is to confirm this stage. Okay, let's confirm it. It's going to blow up, isn't it? Totally going to blow up. Right. So, go to solar system. Are we ready? Launch date is set. Advance until the next launch month. Here we go. So, artificial satellite research complete. Okay, that was quick. Uh, the first agency to launch a satellite into stable orbit around Earth will take a prominent early lead in the space race. We've also unlocked the moon because we are in era one, the dawn of spaceflight. Nice. Uh, as rocket technology advances, so does the prospect of exploring beyond the confines of our planet. Yet the public continue to question whether the fledgling agencies can overcome the dangers of spaceflight. Right, here we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, what's going on here? Optimal date, no training set, launch preparations. Yeah, I guess we're just launching the mission, aren't we? By reaching the first era, you've unlocked the moon. The moon can now be selected in the solar system where a list of missions to the moon will be shown. Okay. Uh, you can navigate between planetary bodies by pressing Q and E. 
and we've got a new Spacepedia article. Right, okay, so there's the moon, there's Earth, there's the moon, there's Earth, nice. Um, but I think I missed pressing a button, didn't I, on, the, on Earth. I think I missed actually doing the test launch. Yes, I need to click ready to launch here. Okay, so let's do that. It didn't tell me to do that, but I, f I figured I'd missed something. Oh, very nice. Cool. April 1957. I don't know how close this is to the actual real launch date of these first rockets. I guess it's probably close. Oh, good conditions. Excellent. It's plus 8% because of good conditions. So we can reschedule the launch if we wanted to, but I don't think we do, do we? I mean, the chances are we're going to have a negative effect, effect here. 43% is probably as good as we're going to get. So let's click continue. Here we go. Sputnik was launched in 1957, says Jim. Thank you, Jim. There you go. Just like being on Carl's front lawn. And it's gone. Right, what happened? Oh, look at that! Smooth takeoff. We got a 50% science mission reward. Tutorial, maybe. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> if anybody in the chat has played this game, uh, let me know if you got the same, because that, otherwise that's quite lucky. So what's happened here? Launch reliability has gone up by 15% because we've done one. Looks like it's leveled up a bit. Hey, got a badge. I like that. It's nice and textured. So we got 100. And, well, we got some whatever this is. What was that again? Support. Uh, and we're getting 450 science for one month. So we had a massive influx in science. Okay, right. So the ESA completed test launch. Done. So we've got valuable support and science. Nice. Next tutorial objective involves uh, achieving a crucial milestone, which is placing our first artificial satellite into orbit. Uh, this is going to grant valuable science as well as support from a rapt public. Okay. The first step is to conduct, complete the uh, yet yeah, and its mission payload. Research screen to start the next... I think we've already done some of that, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, payload. So we've launched... We've, we've done this research. We need to research payload. Okay, so that's researching now. Is it researching now? Yeah, that's researching now. Uh, let's click on here. So we've done the test launch. We've got an eye. Is that us? I guess that's us. Um, artificial satellite. Still says locked. Okay, it's left me alone a little bit. <clears throat> it's all right, I'm clever. I'll work it out. He says... Complete required research to start mission. Okay, so I can't do anything here yet. There's research missing, which is this. Okay, so I can't actually plan this mission yet because we haven't got the required research. Okay, let's have a look at the moon. See if there's anything happening on the moon. No, that's locked until we've done lunar orbit and pioneer. Yep, figured it would be. So we can't do any missions to the moon yet. Uh, oh, milestone missions have two research requirements, the mission profile and the mission payload. Once these have been completed, you begin, begin, begin planning the mission. Recommended research uh, prove useful when designing the launch vehicle. Not required to start the mission plan, but, but useful. Okay. So we have a funding review in nine months. Um, we have research happening, which is going to take... How long is that going to take? In fact, we're going to do that straight away because we've got 577 research coming in. So I think we just skip forward a month. I mean, we could go to the base and see if there's anything to build on the base. I don't think there is. We've already got one of them. We've already got one of them. We can only have one of those. We've got all sorts of stuff here that we could build in future. But no, I think... I think we're just going to skip forward a month. There you go. Right. So, ESRO 2B research complete. 
a small cylindrical satellite carrying basic X-ray and cosmic ray detectors. Now the artificial satellite mission and payload of research, you can start the mission plan. Select Earth. You'll need a free mission slot. Yes. Okay, so we click here. Here we go, mission plan. So we're going to plan the mission. Okay, so we can see here these are greyed out. The other ones haven't done that. Okay. Recommended research is this. We don't have that, but we can still plan the mission. Payload. So most missions will include a payload. The, the satellite or spacecraft you're sending into space, the first stage of the mission plan will be to design and construct the payload. Right. Ooh, nice. The mission payload will be carried by your launch vehicle into space and used in mission tasks that occur after launch. Payload rating is an overall rating based on the payload's modules. Okay, more details on that later. And on the mission tasks, which can be found by clicking the More Info button. Payload reliability is a key payload stat. Uh, it determines the chance that the payload modules will operate without errors. A higher payload reliability will generally make mission tasks easier to complete, but is sometimes worth sacrificing for better modules or a cheaper build cost. <gasps> Cutting costs? Note that the payload's mass determines the launch vehicle required for the mission. Okay. The capacity of the vehicle's upper stage must be large enough to carry... Yes. Okay. All fairly obvious stuff, but it's good to state it. Each mission payload has available variants, which can be used to further customise the payload for your current mission. Right. Each variant has strengths and weaknesses compared to the standard version. Right, let's click on some stuff. Right, so if we go with the standard one, that's there. If we go with the comms, we get improved communications modules, but reduced payload reliability. Prototype <clears throat> adds to the build cost, reduces the payload reliability. Well, that's not good, is it? Oh, sorry. Reduced build cost. <laughs> yeah, not adds to the build cost. Um, or power. Okay, I don't know. Um, let's go with that one. And we can do more info, and we can find loads of stuff here. This is this is really detailed, and I don't even know how detailed this gets. Payload modules are used to generate the resources required to complete task objectives in the mission. Right, payload modules are used to generate resources required to complete task objectives in the... Right, okay. Module rating. The higher the module rating, the more of its associated resource it will generate. For example, a short-range comms module with a high rating will generate more comms. Short-range comms, yeah. Okay. My ratings look quite low. Okay, so if I did that one, I get better comms. <clears throat> yeah, okay. And I've decided to go with that one. I don't know what difference that's going to make. So we're selecting this power one. So it's going to increase the build cost. It's only money, uh, but it's going to give it increased power. It's going to cost 150, so we can build that. It's going to take two months to build, and it's got 40 kilograms mass. And it's going to have six starting power. Okay. Right then. Uh, like they do with vehicles, your engineers will deliver a construction report on the payload once it's completed. This can include traits that may affect your choice of vehicle design in the next stage. Okay. Once you have the necessary funds, you can construct start construction of the payload. It can take several months. And there we go. So it's going to take two months to build. And I don't think there's anything left for us to do. I think we're just going to zip forward. Oh no, research. Yes, haven't done any research. So what we're going to research, um, we could research these. Spacecraft assembly facility, a rocket test pad, or a research lab. Research lab will give us more research. Or we can research these. Oh, vehicles tree. Technology is required to unlock bigger and better launch vehicles. As your agency develops increasingly advanced payloads, so too must your booster technology improve. For each mission, you'll need to, a vehicle capable of carrying the payload to its destination. Right. Vehicle research nodes are divided by their type. Most vehicles used in missions will require a booster and upper stage researched here. Later on, you'll be able to research supplementary boosters to make your launch vehicles even more powerful. Right, okay, I see, yep. Nice. Okay, so what do we want to do? 
what do we want to do? Do we want to research lunar orbit or put an animal in space? Uh, or do we want to do buildings, research lab, rocket test pad? I think let's go with the lunar one. <laughs> See if we can do this. So we're going to start researching lunar orbit. Right, so that's research done. We're going to go to the next month. Although I don't think anything's going to happen this month. Oh no, it is, yeah, because we've still got loads of research. Um, I don't know if you can, but it would be good if you could queue up research. I haven't seen a way of doing it. Um, but yes. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to research the Pioneer payload. Now that's not going to be done this month because we need uh, 600 research points. That's going to take a while. Uh, research lab says Richard you need a better rocket than a sounding rocket to send your payload up okay do I right oh yeah so a sounding rocket won't take up okay so we're gonna have to research this then are you sure you want to change your active research yes because the chat's told me to do so off we go then next month there you go we have round researched uh, an early liquid fuel rocket based on earlier sounding rocket designs okay so a sounding rocket can't take up any payload. That's why it said zero earlier on. Right, so what have they done? Ooh. Uh, oh, right, okay. So it's been tracked in several media outlets, so we're getting 25% extra support, but it's a more complex launch configuration. So build time has gone up by 25%. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, it'll just take a bit longer. So let's see if we can build this so we need to do this select launch vehicle design a new one to launch this mission you'll need a vehicle capable of carrying the payload up to its to its destination which is made up of a booster and an upper stage okay so the upper stage here we go so these are all of the ones we can build oh there's quite a few an upper stage must be able to carry the payload, which means its payload capacity must be at least equal to the payload's mass. Payload's mass is 40 kilograms. Also, its max destination must be at least equal to the mission's destination. Right, so the mission destination is Earth orbit. This can get to Earth orbit. It can carry 40 kilograms, and that's what we've got. So I can use this one. I can use this topaz. Another vital stat is the upper stage's mass. This will determine the size of the booster required to carry it. When designing vehicles, you'll commonly use parts you haven't researched yet. This can be the best way to design the perfect vehicle for the mission and won't prevent you from selecting the vehicle. However, you will need to research the required parts before you can construct it. Yes. So for most missions, a good rule is to select an upper stage with a payload capacity close to the payload's mass, done, in order to save on build cost and build time. However, there'll be some circumstances where larger parts are more suited. Okay, so I think I think that's good, because we don't need that. That's massive. That can take 500 kilograms. We don't need that. We only need 40. That takes 500. That takes 350. Wow, 1,800? Yeah, okay, these are crazy. So uh, we only need this one. We only need this tiny one here. Um, yeah, you need the top half of the rocket, which you need to research, says Paul. Well, that's this. Oh, yeah, the science is there. So I haven't researched any of these yet. Oh yeah, it says there. Right. So we're going to put the topaz select part. Now the booster and we have done the booster. Yeah, so we have researched the booster. The main one is the its lift capacity must be equal to the mass of the upper stage and the upper stage is 400. And another one is that, which is the required launch pad. This will determine the size of the launch pad. Small, so we're okay with that. Boosters and upper stages will gain an experience level every time they're used, up to a maximum of five. Yep, because our other thing, our sounding rocket, got to level one, didn't it? Different parts gain different amounts of launch reliability per level. Parts that start with low reliability but gain a lot of reliability level may be a good investment if you're willing to risk a few uncertain early launches. Yeah, sure loads of detail here this is really good um so we're gonna put that on 
You can check whether you're selected upper stage and the booster combination is valid for the mission here. If it's not, try a different combination, which it is. So we can confirm that. We can't build it yet because we haven't researched the top bit, but we have researched the bottom bit. One or more parts used is needed to be researched, yes. So we'll click here, it takes us into here. It tells us what we need, which is good. Unresearched vehicle parts that are in your vehicle designs for missions will be highlighted with this icon. Uh, researching these parts will allow you to start construction on... Right, okay, yeah, there you go. We're going to research that. And then we go back, and I think... I think we just go next month. There you go. Topaz research completed. All of the required research for your vehicle design for the artificial satellite mission has now been completed. So construction can start. So we're going to build it. We need 100k. We've got 210k. Done. Let's go back to mission control. We need to do some research. Right, what we're going to research now? Uh, mustn't be allowed to mention Civ. <laughs> So let, let's go for the research lab. Somebody mentioned the research lab earlier. Oh, what's this? Suggested vehicle parts. The suggested vehicle parts filter can be used to accommodate, uh, can be used to view recommended parts for currently active missions. You'll only need to unlock one compatible booster and upper stage combination to create a valid vehicle for the mission, yet having access to multiple parts when designing vehicles will be beneficial in the long term. Okay, so yeah, it basically tells us for that mission, you need that. Okay, um, so yeah, let's go for buildings and let's go for the research lab. Because then that's going to give us more, more research coming in. Uh, and presumably this means it, we need two of these in order to advance to here. Cool, look at all this. How far does it go? Right, nice. Okay, uh, I think we're done. Let's go to next month. Oh, China has completed a second test launch. Yeah, because that's what we could have been doing, isn't it? He's just doing more test launches with the um, with the sounding rockets. Now, has that got an exclamation mark on it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Exclamation mark on it there. There's nothing we can do there, I don't think. So we'll go to next month. Research lab has been completed. So we've got 220k. Let's see if we can build a research lab. Build. Research lab. It unlocks mission training for science. Okay, so where's this going to be built? So we want to build it next... Oh, there! Because then that gets a bonus of two different things. In fact, if we rotate it... Let's put it there. Yeah. There you go. So we're building that. Research lab should pay for itself quite quickly. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're having a funding review in three months. The Emperor is complete in two months and the research lab is completed in three months. So let's set some more research. What do we want to build now? I think we're okay with the booster rockets that we've got and the upper stages at the moment. Missions. Yeah, I was going to research that, wasn't I? Yeah. I'm probably not going to be able to fulfill this, but, you know, never mind. Next month. Okay, so nothing happened that month. You can just click next event to skip forward to the next time something happens, rather than having to click next month each time. So we have built an artificial satellite rocket thing. So we got... We got 10% payload reliability, but we got minus 10% launch reliability. Could have done with it the other way around. Right, so we are now going to set a launch date. Okay, well, let, let's go for it in January. Why we can't launch in April, I don't know. And I don't know what these little pings are here. They look nice, but I don't know what they are. Um, but yeah. Yes, you can't launch in April. So why wouldn't I just go with January? I don't know. Uh, my spaceport lap map looks like perhaps from the old cannon fodder games. <laughs> um, so what's happening here? These are doing research. China is doing something. 
That's not China, is it? Yeah, that's China. China. It's doing something. I don't know what. So we're going to select January. Confirm mission setup. And... Off we go. So we're going to have a... Ah, China is launching artificial satellite in 13 months. Yeah, well, I'm going to launch one next month. I'm well ahead of you. Okay, so we're going to have a funding review. We're going to finish the research lab and we're launching the artificial satellite. Oh, Soviet Union proposed research exchange. Exchange of technology, technology research. Offering to share their rocket test pad research if we share our research on research lab. Sure. Yeah, why not? Okay. Gained 20 reputation with the Soviets. Nice. Bushki, bushki, comrade. Right. Your agency's uh, performance over the last 12 months has been reviewed and your budget has been adjusted accordingly. Yes. We're awesome. So thanks to the support, we've reached tier two of funding. Nice. And we've researched. We've, we've done the research lab so we can unlock another mission. Uh, a rocket test pad. Yep. So basically, we've, we've swapped technologies. And here we go. We are going to see what the weather's like. Yeah, so we're well ahead on this mission. Okay. We're at mission control. Looks like quite a nice day for January. Okay, so, adequate conditions, plus 4%. I think that, that's okay, isn't it? Yeah, we don't need to reschedule. Nah, we're fine. Continue. Off we go. Matt's here. Hi, Matt. Thank you for joining in. Just about to launch my second rocket. And deploy an artificial satellite. 13 months ahead of the uh, of China. Oh, okay, so, spoke too soon. Right, what did we get? Oh, okay. Oops. Now, everything was going fine until Matt joined the chat. Uh, so, you know, I'm not suggesting anything, but, you know, everything was fine. We were having loads of success. Everything was working good, but we will learn from our failures. So we've got level one in this and level one in that and our reliability has gone up because we've used them. So we have learned something from it. Mission failed. Oh, we lost 38 support. Ah, right. Okay, well, that's realistic. The support goes down. Yep. Fireworks in the daytime. <laughs> does this game have multiplayer? I don't think it does. I haven't seen anything about a multiplayer mode. Uh, oh, it was the Russian influence. Yes, Paul. Yeah, as soon as we made that deal with the Russians, all of a sudden things went wrong. Right, so. I, I think this is actually part of the tutorial. I think we were set to fail because otherwise this wouldn't have popped up. Um, your first attempt at launching an artificial satellite into orbit may have failed, but not to worry. You can't push the boundaries of space exploration without a few setbacks along the way. Yes. Milestone missions can be repeated until success, so be sure to start a new mission plan when you are ready. I am ready. So where was it? It was in here. Mission plan. Artificial satellite. Oh. Your first milestone challenge is now available. These are optional goals for your agency that involve completing certain milestones in return for substantial rewards. Oh. Okay, we've got a challenge. Complete three milestone missions. Right. Current challenge to the Su to the yeah, okay, activating your right, okay. Become available whenever you complete or fail the previous challenge. There is no penalty for failing a milestone challenge. Right, okay, so we have within 180 months, what's that? 15 years? We have to complete three milestone missions, and if we do, we get 25% uh, reduction on buildings research for six months. Nice. Try some more test launches. Um, 
I, I could do. But the thing is, that test launch is actually using a different... Yeah, so the thing is, that I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, can we do a test launch, but without the payload? Because it's that it's the payload of the artificial satellite that's the expensive bit. So is that what you're suggesting, that we just do a test launch? See, that milestone is complete, so I can't redo that mission. Yeah, it won't let me do that mission. Have we got a request here? Great way to supplement your agency's resources, especially if they don't require any further research, just a free mission slot. Each request mission is only available for a set amount of time, unlike milestone missions. And unlike milestone missions can only be attempted once. The more milestones you complete, the more request missions will become available. So we have this, we have a request mission. We've got one month to do it. And if we do it, we get this. Well, we can do that. Let's do that. So they, what we're doing a test launch, a guidance system test. So we're going to just use a sounding rocket. So we just need sounding rocket, sounding rocket. We can give it a name. Let's call it a name. Who should we call it? Last person in the chat, Andrew. Andrew, there you go. Named the design. Um, two months build time is going to cost us 78k. Now, are we going to learn anything from this? Because it's using... I don't know whether we're going to learn anything from this. Because this is using the sounding rocket. So we're going to we're going to increase the level of our sounding rocket. Yeah, I hope it won't blow up because it's called Andrew. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm learning the game. So we'll, we'll see. Um, so we build it. Okay. So we're going to build another sounding rocket. And I don't know whether that is actually going to help us launch the other one. Why has the base got an exclamation mark on it? What can we build? Oh, we can build the rocket test pad. Now, what's this going to do? The rocket test pad unlocks the mission training launch reliability. Oh, so we can... Right, okay. We can improve those things. Have we got enough money for this? We do. Where can we build it? Let's build it there. Uh, it's going to cost money to get past all of the trees. Yeah, we've got to do it though. So it's going to have to chop down those trees and those trees. Yeah, we can't put it here. We want to put it there. Okay. Oh no, we can't. We haven't got the money for that. I can put it there. There you go. That's where it's going. Okay, so... Is this game limited to the solar system? I assume so. I think this is a realistic, hard sci-fi space research game, from what I've seen so far. Who knows? Who knows? Um, okay. After analysing data from your recently failed launch, researchers have identified several improvements that can be made to your booster technology. Yeah, sometimes we learn when things blow up. So we gain 250 science for that, which is nice. NASA has completed a third test launch. Japan failed to launch. So next month. Pioneer research complete. Okay, so we're, we're already going with our journey to the moon stuff. <laughs> we're going to have to research some other things first. So uh, we have built another one of these. Oh, this is the test. Yeah, this is the the request, isn't it? Okay, so where are we? Active missions. Yes. Select a training focus. Ah, training is a crucial part of the mission plan and allows your staff and crew to focus on a particular aspect of the mission in the months before the launch day. The type of training chosen can greatly benefit such areas such as launch reliability or the amount of science gained from a mission. So we can select a training focus. Available training options for this mission can be selected here to unlock more, construct the appropriate buildings in your base. Each training option will focus on a specific aspect of the mission. For example, payload reliability training will increase payload reliability. Yeah. 
The total bonus granted by each training option is dependent on the number of months until launch day. Right. So we're going to select this one because that's the only one we can select, which is science training. Your scientists will follow, will focus on optimizing the payloads, instrumentation and software. It will increase the science reward. Okay. Launch date. So we can't launch in April. Your current training and its bonus can be viewed here. The bonus is determined by the number of months between the current day and the selected launch day. Right. So we could launch in May. We get 10% science bonus, but there's a launch penalty. We could go to June. Okay, so we can really now extend it out, but I think we want to launch it as soon as possible. Um, uh, so, Henrik is saying, found the game interesting when I first tried it. It gets repetitive when you finish the solar system. Yeah, I don't know how much replayability there is in this game. Um, certainly, if you end up going through everything and unlo unlocking everything. I mean, there's the five different space agencies to play as, but I don't know how variable that is. We will see. Right, so we're going to launch in June. We've got three months until launch, so we're doing a bit of science training. We'll select that day. We'll confirm the mission setup. Done. Right. So that's going to happen in three months. We're going to do some more research. Uh, what we're we going to research here? Ah, so we've unlocked both of these, so we can now do this. Mission control. So we can actually have two missions going at once, I think. Payload reliability mission training. I think I think I might just go for this. I don't really know. Don't know what's going on here, but we'll find out. Let's go to next month. So rocket test pad is complete. So we've got a new. So we've got mission training launch reliability. All right. So now when we're doing mission training, we can research that instead of science. Okay, and we can build something else. Yes, a spacecraft assembly facility. Have we got enough money? We have enough money. Now, where's this going to go? It can go... Yeah. We kind of want to put it next to various things, don't we? Depending on what you want. I think we want to increase reliability, so I'm not really the bothered about increasing costs. Um, so I think put it here. Yeah, let's put it there. Okay. That's that being built. Uh, let's set some research. Yeah, we've still got quite a lot of research. Let's have a look at the vehicles. We're probably going to need bigger boosters at, at some stage. I don't know which one of these we're going to need, so I might leave researching them for now. We might go down... Yeah, let's go down this one. Let's build a mission control. Okay, are we ready? Uh, can you build on the launch pad? Can you only build on the launch pad at a time? On one launch? I, th I think so. I think. I don't know. Soviet Union is launching the artificial satellite in 12 months. Right, we are running out of time a bit now, aren't we? Because I'm doing this test launch thing, which was this request. So we're going to launch the mission and hope, hope this one goes well. Cross your fingers, everybody. So we're launching Andrew into space, June 1958. Okay, so adequate conditions, still not good. This reliability is not, is not good. But it's okay, it's adequate conditions. Let's give it a go. Looks like a success. 
How far did we get? Oh, nice. So, yeah, secure launch, no mission effect. We're all good. So we've leveled up the sounding rocket to level 2, which means payload reliabi uh, reliability thing has gone up by 15%, which is good, but I don't know if that's... I don't know if that applies to all of our rockets or just that one. <laughs> Any last words, Andrew? <laughs> yes. Um... So that was a request. So we did that. So we got we got a bonus for that, which is which is good. Right. We need to go back to uh, a mission. Yes. So we're going to go on here, and we're going to go back to the artificial satellite mission. So China is six months away, and we'll potentially complete it in first place, second place, fourth place, and then I'm not even doing it at all. You have not completed the required research. Sorry, you have completed the required research, but are not planning this mission. We need to do an artificial satellite. Quick. So this time we're going to go with... Yeah, we're going to go with increased power again. I think we can afford it. Uh, so we're going to build the payload. Okay. Then... Oh, so we've got to build the payload. It's going to be two months to build the payload. Oh, yeah, we're not going to get this done in time, are we? Oh, power cut. A major power outage during the construction of the Ezro 2B payload for your upcoming artificial satellite mission has resulted in substantial damage to one of its components. Your engineers have estimated a 10% reduction in payload reliability, which is currently 71%, unless the component is replaced at the cost of 100k. Nah. Fine. The spacecraft assembly facility provides a clean room environment to aid the development of complex mission payloads. Right, okay. Uh, and mission control research, which we've done, so we can now do all sorts of things. Right, well, let's go to the base. Where was mission control? Here, mission control. It gives us an extra mission slot. Insufficient funds. It's going to cost us 250k. Yeah, we don't have the money. Okay, how much money are we generating? 70k. It's not much, is it? Right, research. We could go for astronaut training. We could go for a medium launch pad, which we'll need at some point. Oh, backup power generator. That could be good. Oh, this gives 50 science a month. No, I'm going to go for a backup power generator. Yeah, we're going to start researching that. Okay, next month. So the Ezro 2B is going to be complete. Backup generator power supply research has been done. Can you continue to build the vehicle whilst building the payload? I don't know whether you can. I don't think you do, because it's waiting for this to finish. You should be able to. But maybe not. So we need to design a new one, or can we not use an existing one? Can we not use the one that we did last time? I guess not. So upper stage was this. Booster was this. Yeah, so these are now level one because they blew up. Uh, name. This is going to be Brett. Let's hope Brett doesn't blow up. Um, it's going to cost 92k and it's going to take three months to build. Ah, you can save the design. Let's save the design. There you go. Brett has been saved. So we're going to build that. Completes in three months. Can we not speed it up? Um... Okay, so money's going up slowly, science is going up, we need to set some more research. Um, yeah, I mean, these, these are presumably way off. <laughs> I mean, we can research it now, even though we're never going to be able to do it, because we've so... Ah, here we go, you can see how far it's going to go. So Mars orbit, commercial satellite, Jupiter flyby, this is where it goes. Galileo, crude Mars landing. Right, okay, so it's called Mars Horizon. It looks like the end game. 
is uh, a manned mission to Mars. And that's, that'll be where the game ends, which is fine. That's fine. Let's do the animal in space research, because I don't think anybody else is doing that yet. Okay, next month. We have enough money now, we could build um, the backup power generator. But I don't think we need to at the moment, because that reduces the cost of payload, and we've already built the payload. So I think I'll hang fire on that for now. Soviet Union is launching the artificial satellite in six months. Right, Brett is complete. It looks tiny there, doesn't it? In this big warehouse, it looks like this miniature thing. Okay, so no special effects on the construction. Launch preparation. When are we going to launch? So, training bonus. We can now select payload reliability. And I want to launch it now because china is going to launch it now as well the usa and japan are going to launch it in january so if we launched it in december it's going to be suboptimal but we're not going to get there first we might have to do it in january yeah because that percentage is yeah okay we're going to let china get it because the first one blew up. Uh, yeah, and as we go along, the launch reliability goes up because of this training. Okay, we'll go with January. Confirm mission setup, done. Let's go back. China is launching artificial satellite next month. Yeah, so they're gonna get that first thing. We've researched animal into space. So has China done its thing? I guess it has. What we're we going to research now? Let's research that one. Um, right. So at this point, yeah. Can we look here? See, so it says China is launching artificial satellite next month. Presumably, China has now done that. Um, where do we see that? It's on the missions, artificial satellite. Okay, so China is launching it in zero months. Yeah, that, that's now then. Artificial satellite crisis. Several newspapers have declared a crisis after China launched the world's first artificial satellite. Despite China releasing full specifications of the satellite's scientific instruments, some articles claim the launch poses a serious security threat, causing anxiety in the public. Your advisors suggest praising the scientific achievement will dampen public fears and improve your reputation with China. Alternatively, your agents could gain support for its space program by capitalizing on the anxiety. <gasps> what do we want to do? What do we want to do? That's interesting choices that. I think we're going to praise we're going to praise the achievement. Let's not Yeah, it will help dampen public fears. Yeah, let's not take advantage of people's anxiety. So we've gained 25 reputation with China. Here we go. We have a funding review. We've got 82 support since the last budget. Right. So we're still getting 90k a month. It's fine. And now we're about to launch. Okay. Place your bets now on a successful launch of Brett into orbit. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to launch the mission. So we've got a 76% chance of the launch reliability. But the payload delivery, when it gets up there, is only 51%. That's not great, is it? I'm really enjoying this so far. This is, this is quite, yeah. No aliens, but it's good fun. It's well, it's well put together. My only negative criticism at the moment is this is January 1959, and it looks exactly like the rest of the month. But, you know, maybe they'll release a weather patch. Uh, which, which makes these trees so that they are not looking like they do in January. Because they should be bare and there should be snow on the ground. Right, this is looking quite good. Yeah, this looks like it should be okay. So we're not going to reschedule. We're going to go. Always a bit of a chance of failure. Here we go.
go. Think we're okay? How far did we get? Oh, look at that. Nice. So we've leveled up that booster to two. We've leveled up that to two. So yeah, so reliability has gone up for those, which is good. So I don't think launching that other sounding rocket um, actually increased anything. Oh, we have an artificial satellite. We have a new task. Okay, so now the satellite's up there. And we did the ultra power, we, we did the powerful one, didn't we? Right, so we've actually got, oh my gosh, what's this? Oh, this is tasks to do whilst you're in orbit. Wow. So during mission tasks, you'll need to issue commands to the payload in order to achieve the task objective. Task objective is this. So you need to generate the, requ generate the required resources. Excuse me. Oh. Resources are generated via payload commands. Each command requires a specific input in order to generate an output of resources. So put in a green cube and get two brown cubes out. I say, yeah, wood for sheep. You'll only have a limited amount of commands per turn, so choose wisely. This is the planning phase of the turn. So you can undo and reselect commands as you wish. When you're happy with your selected commands, select confirm commands to continue. Each command will be attempted by the payload in the order in which they were selected with a chance of error based on the payload reliability. And my payload reliability is only 51%. Right, what we're doing? <laughs> so I can issue two commands. And I've got to, my objective is two comms and two data with a bonus objective of two comms and two data. And I get a 50% bonus reward and I've got six power. Okay, I'm not sure about this bit. So let's have a look. So power in, comms out. It's a resource conversion game. It's exactly what this is. So I can't do anything because I don't have any comms. Yeah, I don't have any comms or data yet. So I think what I'm going to have to do is a signal return test. So that's going to put one power in and he's going to produce one comms out. Then I'm going to do magnetic field analysis and put one, uh, sorry, atmospheric sampling, one comms in and three data out. Okay, well, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Cool. This is really nice. I, I, I didn't even know this part was in the game. Signal return test completed successfully. Okay, so we've got we've got one comms. Nice, right. And then we're using comms and power, and we've rolled 67. Nice. Atmospheric sampling completed. So we get three data. Huzzah! Right. Turn is completed each time all of your previous selected commands have been attempted. Make sure you complete the task objective before the turns run out. So we've got three turns left. Recharging power can be selected instead of a normal command to generate power. Keeping some spare power is good. Right, okay, so we're all right. We've got four power left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put power and a data in to get three of that. And then I think I put power and comms in to get that. Yeah, because I started with six power and some of this might go wrong. Like, that one has gone wrong. Terrestrial weather patterns have caused a degradation in the signal. This command's output will be reduced by one comms unless you spend one power to resist the event. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. Okay. Yay, we did it. But I wanted to do more. <laughs> So we were the second person to have achieved an artificial satellite. Nice. So we get some extra support. God, look at this. That's 288 support that we just got. Wow. Yeah, that's going to zap us up right into tier two. So the artificial satellite is safely in orbit. You've achieved a major milestone for your agency and opened the door to launching more complex payloads, perhaps even those that could carry humans into space. 
With a training option now available for your missions, it's time to focus on another vital aspect of growing your agency, which is building a mission control. I already did that. <laughs> so I've actually skipped ahead because, yeah, two of these things here I've already done. Uh, the mission control building unlocks an additional mission slot, allowing you to conduct two missions at the same time to increase your... Yeah. You need to research another training building first. Done that. Yeah. So I can now build mission control. Now, where is this going to go? If we rotate it, it could... Oh, no, we don't want to put it next to that. Oh, in fact, we can't build there because of that. Can we put it here? Yes, we can put it here next to those two things. Okay, we're going to have to chop down some trees. All right, and we can also build the backup power generator. No, we can't. We haven't got any money. Okay, so... Okay, so there's the moon. And there's Earth. So what's this? Because we've got an artificial satellite as well. We can't rotate it. It's not letting me rotate it. It's letting me go left and right, but it's not letting me rotate it. It's a shame. Okay, so what are we trying to do now? What's this? Oh yeah, that's research. Build a mission control we're building. Can't do that yet. We can't do that yet. Because we haven't researched any of these. So we could launch another artificial satellite. No, because that's a milestone. You can only do them once. Have we got another request? We do. We have another request. We have a request to do a test launch of high altitude photography. So, yeah. Let's let's do that. So, what are we going to use? What mission are we going to use? It's a normal sounding rocket. Okay. Uh, and this is going to be called... Gallant is actually quite a good name. Last person in the chat was Andrew. Person before that was Brett. You've both had rockets already. So it is now Jim. Rocket Jim. Right. Two months to build it. 74k. Done. Build. Okay. Now, how's research going? <clears throat> research is going fine. Uh, and mission control is being built. So we're going to zip ahead to next month. Oh, as an engineer available. An experienced propulsion systems engineer has become available. Hiring them would boost the reliability, launch reliability of the test launch. Yeah, let's do, oh, it's 100k. Hmm. Nah, that's a bit expensive because money coming in is actually not that much. So no, we're not going to hire them. We've researched Eden research so we can carry small animals into space. Okay, so now there's other satellites here. Just can't see ours. Where's ours gone? Um, so, what research now? Let's go for that one. Okay. And Jim is going to be complete in a month's time. International Geophysical Year. The International Geophysical Year, a global initiative to gain more geophysical data on Earth, is taking place in three years' time. Organisers have requested that your agency launches a satellite to collect the required data. If accepted, your agency will be expected to complete the satellite imaging mission within three years, but you will receive this immediately. Oh yes, absolutely. Failure to meet the target will result in a loss of support. Yes, of course, because they're giving us 750,000. Okay. Right. So here we go, we're going to do a test launch of a high altitude photography thing. 61%, still not that much, is it? But here's what we can do. We can now select launch reliability training and we can set a launch day of like August and then that adds 15% to the launch reliability. In fact, it's not going up anymore. It looks like it's a maximum of 15. Yeah. Oh yeah, months, yeah, okay. So let's do it, let's launch in five months. So I don't know what we can do for five months' time, but that's confirmed that. So mission control, we have missions in progress one. I thought we could now have two missions. Mm -hmm. 
No, we haven't built mission control yet. It'll be complete in two months' time. Right, okay, so we're going to launch uh, research. What are we going to research? Uh, let's research... Um, I still don't know which of these I need. Yeah, I don't know. So I think I'm going to research astronaut training building. Why not? Probably don't need it yet. Got all these satellites now. Right, next month. Nothing happened that month. Money's good. Oh, which means we can actually build now that backup generator thing because we've got the money for it. Here we go, backup power generator. Let's build that. Where are we going to put it? Here. Or here. No, here. There you go. Right. So the base is coming along nicely. The mission control is now built, which means we've, we've got an extra mission slot. Yeah, congratulations on completing all of the tutorial objectives. Right. Your agency has demonstrated its technological expertise and opened countless minds to the possibility of space travel. So there we go. We've been playing for an hour and 20 um, and we've completed the tutorial. The direction of your agency is now down to you. Uh, Jimmy's saying, if chances of success are anything at 60%, percent you be very happy. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep playing for a bit longer. Um, probably about another half an hour or so tonight. Um, to balance your research efforts across all re three research trees, use spare mission slots to conduct request missions and bolster your resources. Okay, no more tutorials. Off we go then. We're only in May 1959. So, okay, so now that we've got... Yeah, so we can do the animal in space mission now. So we can start planning that. Have we got another request? Yeah, we've got all of these requests. So these are coming in thick and fast. Special modifiers that make aspects of the mission more challenging. Okay. So it says here one month, the length of the mission after launch. Okay, so that's how long it takes. So I don't know how long these are before they disappear. But yeah, let's do let's do this one. I don't know. Experimental payload, don't like the sound of that. Minus one turn in each task, don't like the sound of that either. One phase. Yeah, this, this is quite detailed, this. <laughs> I'm going to go with this. I'm going to do this request for ionospheric measurements. We're going to plan it. So payload. Now, why is that shaded? Oh, because of this, exp uh, yeah. Payload rating one star. Okay, I think we're going to build another one of these. Uh, start animal mission planning ASAP. Maybe I should use that, do that instead then. Oh, I've started this now. No, we'll, we'll, we'll keep with this one for now. So we're going with a special a power one, because that worked last time. And we're going to build it. It's not expensive, isn't it? So yeah, we've got two missions on the go. Okay. Off we go to next month. Actually, I'm going to click the next event, and this should skip two months. One, two. Race to space. The prospect of launching the first human into space is dom dominating the newspapers. Most have labelled it an impossible endeavour, whilst the less sceptical outlets claim a rival agency are bound to get there first. Several have contacted your agency for a statement. Declare you will win or decline to enter the race. I'm going to declare I'm going to win. Totally going to win. You have replied that it is not only possible but inevitable that a human will reach space. And what's more, your agency will be the first to achieve it. Your statement resulted in a surge of public support. Yet detractors maintain that your agency is setting itself up for a fall. Gained 100 support. Backup power generator complete. Nice. Okay. 
and we have completed the payload for the ionospheric measurements. Okay, so we're going to design the vehicle to put it in it, which is the same as last time, I think. Isn't it? Reuse Brett. Yeah, sorry Brett, we're going to reuse you. So it's the same as before. Yeah, it's all good. And load design and then confirm. Okay, so we're going to build another Brett. Okay. So, missions are all done. We are launching the high altitude photography next month. And we're researching this astronaut training facility. Right, okay, cool. I think this game is exactly what I expected. Even though, as I say, I was trying to avoid seeing a lot of details about it. It is pretty much what I expected, a realistic sort of, you know, science space race type thing where you play different agencies. It's a bit more detailed than I thought, which is fine because, you know, I like, I like a bit of detail and it's not overwhelming. If it was too much, there's a lot of games from like 10, 15 years ago, which just a page full of numbers and stuff like that. And I, I can't, I can't handle them now. I need my games easier and prettier. So, right. Okay, let's see what the weather's like. I'll be ready, Jim. August 1959. Yep, conditions are good. Let's go for lunch. I don't even know what language that's supposed to be in. <laughs> All I can hear is sort of crackling. Right. Come on, Jim, you can do it. It's looking good. Yep, yeah, we're good. Oh, only just. Only just. Right. So we've got now level three in a sounding rocket. So yeah, reliability is, is going up all the time. Uh, and that's it. We've taken some high altitude photographs. Okay, so we can plan another mission now. Yeah, so we can start planning the animal in space. Right, so Eden. What do we want with Eden? Let's put the increased power in. 281,000? What? Yeah, we can't afford that. I think we're going to have to save up a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, in which case, I mean, we don't get any money for these. We get science and support, but we don't get money. But support gives you, oh, it's French, is it? Right, okay, cool. Um... So yeah, so, so completing these request missions will give you support. Support will increase your uh, tier, which will increase how much money you get. Um, but I think I'm going to hang fire for now. Presumably we can't do any missions on the moon yet. Oh, China's already started it. China is going to set, send to do lunar orbit in eight months. Yeah, I've, I've missed out on that one. I'm behind on that one. Okay. So, astronaut training facility research is complete. So that will allow me now to train astronauts, I guess. Ah, crew. That's a new thing. Uh, where was the base stuff? Base. Here we go. So we could, if we had the money build an astronaut training facility which allows the hiring of astronauts yeah because we haven't gone into this it's all just um yeah missions with no crew so far so we can't build that yet because we haven't got money but this is where we yeah you must build an astronaut training facility to hire astronauts yes okay so that's a whole part of the game that we've we've not been to yet 
Research. What we're going to do now? Research. Oh gosh, what's all of this? Yeah, we don't need that. That's all about astronauts. Um, PR office. Mission control expansion. Visitor center. I might go with these. As I say, I don't know which one of these I need, though. So let's go with Jupiter. Okay. Right, next month. Jupiter research has been complete. Yep, that didn't take long. NASA is launching an animal into space in 13 months. Okay, so we're going to have to go back to research again. Um, so we've researched Jupiter Booster, which means we can now research any one of these straight away. I mean, look at that, it's massively expensive. But these all require a medium, uh, medium launch pad. But that's got a capacity of 6,600 kilograms. 8,000 kilograms. Let's go with that one. It's the biggest one. Uh, next month. You, your planned mission, Animal in Space, has a payload ready for construction. Are you sure you want to continue? Uh, oh, it's because we said we'd buy it, and... Yeah, go on, let's do it. Okay. So there was a question in earlier on, and I don't know the answer to it, um, which is... Um, we're building the payload right now. That's going to take two months. Can we be building the rocket while this is being built? I don't think we can. Um, but yeah, Brett is saying, can you select this? Ah, there we go. Right, so the animals one is telling us which one we need. So we need either that one or that one, and either that one, that one, or that one. So I'm going to put... I'm going to switch research to that. Yeah, because we need those two to do the animal in space. Right. Pigs in space. I think we're done. So Brett is going to be complete. Oh, radiation belts discovered. Data from your recent artificial satellite mission has confirmed that the belts have trapped radiation surround Earth, shielding the planet from sun's cosmic rays. Okay, that's when we discovered that then. Uh, Jupiter research is complete. Right. This is the vehicle for the ionospheric measurements request. So, when are we going to launch this? Well, first of all, training. Will I go for launch reliability again? Because that's the bit I'm nervous about. We could launch in December, but I'm not in any big rush. So I think we'll go with a launch day of March. Yeah, that's fine. Confirm. Done. Okay, so. Research. Um, I was going with that one, wasn't I? Yeah. Right. Base. What can we build? The astronaut training facility, which we don't want to build. We, I mean, look at the money. We're hemorrhaging money. Yeah. We don't have much money, do we? Oh, look at all these bonuses we're getting. Nice, nice adjacency bonuses. Okay. Right. We are done. Uh, UFO fever, the discovery of debris likely belonging to a weather balloon has sparked a wave of conspiracy theories surrounding UFOs. Several questionable magazines have approached your agency for comment. Whilst your researchers urge dismissing such stories, your PR team has noted the potential for drumming up interest in space exploration. Go on, let's encourage it. <laughs> you gained 100 support. Hey! Uh, an early liquid fuel rocket design. Right, so Delta research has been complete. I don't know whether those random events, the, out, the outcome is always the same, or there's a bit of a random number generator going on in the background. I don't know. Okay, that's all right. It's going to cost us more to build it, but we got extra launch reliability. So now we design the vehicle for it. So this needs to be a new one because it needs to be... Yeah, the upper stage needs to... Con needs to um, Minimum of 500, which is this. Yes, Jupiter. Okay. Uh, which means the booster needs to be Jupiter. 
There we go. Okay. Uh, name. Who's in the chat? Richard. This is going to be called Richard. 268k. Can't build it. We're going to have to wait till we've got the money. Can I get a loan? Is it a Martin Wallace game? It's not, is it? Right, okay. Can we unlock contractors? No, we need four things to unlock contractors. Gosh, let's go with that one. Um, so, missions. So we've got mission plans and one mission in progress. So we, we haven't got any more slots. So we can't do anything else now. We're just going to have to wait. We've got a funding review. This is where the money's going to go up. Because we got massive amounts of support from the things that we did. Look at that. Boom. Yeah, so we're now getting 150k a month. Nice. Yeah, nice. Now we got lots of money. Uh, still don't think we can um, build the next thing. No, we can't. Let's go with this one next. Yes, we can. We've got 269 and we needed 268. Excellent. Let's build it. We have 1,000 credits <laughs> in our bank account. Um, okay. So, next month. I wonder how many um, missions you can have on the go at any one time. Once you... You know, increased mission control and stuff. Right, here we go. This is the one with the experimental payload, so... Yeah. Launch should be okay. It's the, it's the actual payload when we get there that might be the problem. Oh look, the trees. They're all the same again. Conditions are adequate. Yep, we're good to go. It's looking good. Yep. Right. How did we get on? 41, but that's okay. Which means we'll level up those boosters. Uh, reliability is going up all the time. Okay, so we're now going to do some more tests. So our objective is to collect two comms and one data. Bonus objective, three comms and two data. So yeah, I mean, last time, and again, this is something that I want to know, but I might ask on the Discord channel. I, I want to go for the bonus because I could have got it last time, but it looked like it ended it as soon as it did the main mission. And I don't want it to do that. So we've got six power. We should easily be able to do this. So we need to put uh, that in first, followed by that. Okay. Okay. But there's only a 50% reliability, so that first one has failed. Oh, that looks bad. Electrical malfunction in the camera has resulted in reduced data generation. Uh, yeah, let, no, let, let's have that, because if I don't do this, the second one is not going to work. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to resist it, which means we'll get it, which means this second one will work. Well, it might work, it might not. Oh, yes, look at that. Just got it. Okay, so we got three comms. It looks like sending Brett into space isn't such a bad thing after all. Yes. <laughs> uh, it looks like you get your five missions on the go at once eventually. Right, thank you, Paul. Okay, so we got three comms, which is good. We're now on turn two. And basically, I just need to generate two, two what's it's. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll generate, uh, well, here's the thing. If I convert 
a power and a comms into three data, then I won't get the bonus. And this is the thing, I, I want to be able to carry on doing it until I've got the bonus, but I don't know whether it's going to let me. Um, similarly, if I use this, if I do this once, it will get one and then it will say, yeah, you're done. And I'm like, no, I don't want to be done. So, I mean, let's just, let's just try this. Let's do this twice and see what happens. Because these might not succeed. No, the first one succeeded. So if this finishes the mission straight away, I'll be, I'll be upset. Right, no, it is trying the second one. The second one has failed. But if I can put a power in, yeah, if I can resist it, there you go, I've got three and two. So I get the 50% bonus. Everybody's happy. Mission complete, phase one, Earth. So some of the later missions have got multiple phases. Oh, look at this. Yeah. More support. Right. How are we doing? We're doing all right. Uh, let's just research some other stuff here. Uh, let's go with that one, because I don't know why. And let's have a look at our missions. So we have... No... Mi oh, we've got Era 2. Okay, so it's split into eras. Ooh! Multiplanetary species. Yeah, so this is look, it's where it goes in the end. So we're currently in... And I do need to complete three milestone missions. And I had... 15 years to do it in, and I've now only got 13 years left. So I think we're going to go with the animals in space one. So the plan was, oh, that, that's actually happening. Yeah, we're actually building Richard right at the moment. Uh, and I can't do the satellite imaging because I need GOES research, which is a payload. Let's go back to the research then. And let's, here. Yes, change research. Okay, let's research that. In the meantime, we can uh, do a request. How, where's your slots? Where are the two different slots? I don't know where they are. So, we're going to do... Uh, yeah, let's just do this one. We've done this one a few times before. It's a nice, simple, basic sounding rocket. Uh, this one is going to be called Andrea. Uh, and confirm, we've got the money. We're going to build it. Right, so here's the mission plans. They were here. Okay. We're done. We're done. Next month. And next month again. China achieves moon orbit. The newspapers are dominated by the recent success of China's lunar orbit mission. Your agency has been approached for comment. Your PR team advised that praising the achievement will improve relations with China. They're our best friends. Uh, yet may open our agency to criticism of falling behind in the space race. Conversely, downplaying the mission may boost public support, but damage relations with China. Nope, we're going to praise the achievement. We lost 100 support. That's fine, but we gained reputation with China. I don't know what the reputation... Um, with the other nations does. If anybody knows, let me know in the chat. Need to start researching the lunar missions. Yes. Yes, definitely do. So launch date. Oh, training. What training are we going to give them on? Reliability, obviously. Launch date. When should we put it for? July? September. I think July would be fine. Confirm. So yeah, I'm going to go to the Spacepedia. Uh, and what was I looking up? The thing that I said... Oh, what was it? I just said to the chat, I said, let me know if anybody knows. And I said something, and then I've completely forgotten what it was that I said. Nope, I don't know. Oh, relationships, that's it. Now, where's that? Is that on here? 
Oh, right, okay. This is literally like a Wikipedia of stuff. Okay, rather than game-related things. Okay, so forget that. Um, yes, relationships. But I don't know where you see the relationships with the other nations. Or what it actually does. Nope. Alright, we need to set some more research. Um, see, we, we don't have to go down the mission, the human missions in space. We could just do go down the Mars flyby. Let's go down this route. Okay, next month. And next month. Right, payload component issue. Engineers have discovered a manufacturing error in a key component of the Eden payload for your upcoming Animal in Space mission. They estimate a 10% reduction uh, unless you commit funds to it. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, click on the two hands shaking, which is diplomacy. Right, okay. Oh, we got, we got minus 50% launch reliability penalty for suboptimal launch windows. Okay, so we can launch it earlier if we need to. Oh, at least it's dark this time. It's got a slight change. July 1960. Okay, adequate conditions 1%. Are we going to be happy with that? Low risk? I think we are. I think we're okay with that. I mean, you can reschedule it, but I don't think that's going to. No. Let's just continue. We'll be alright. And then when this is done, I'll click on the two hands shaking. Looks like Andrea's in space. Already oh, just look at that. Right, so our sounding rocket is now level four. Reliability has gone up again, and we gain some more support and some more science. Nice. Right, so I'm clicking on the two hands shaking, but that's support. That's not. Oh, what's this? Ooh, graphs and stuff. Yeah, okay, nice. But... Oh, the two hands shaking here, diplomacy. Right, okay, got it. So, um, we're friends with, the, uh, with NASA, I believe. Grants bonuses, friendly and allied relationship, boost science bonuses and increase of the... Right, okay. Okay, so, um, yeah, so nobody hates us, which is good. We're kind of a bit friendly with NASA. We're not that friendly with China, are we? Can we click on these? Oh, we can. Right, so China. Uh, we're neutral, minus 35. No positive or negative effects. Oh, we can propose joint missions if we were... Working together. So with NASA, plus 5% joint mission contribution and 3% science income. Okay, right. Okay, nice. So, what's happening? Is anything happening? Active missions. We've got a slot available. Uh, animal in space, we haven't actually... Oh, okay. We haven't, we haven't done this yet. So launch day is going to be October or September. We can do it in September. We can beat the Americans. Yeah, let's beat the Americans to it. Okay, so that's that done. And then we've got a mission slot. So let's do a new mission. Satellite imaging. Yes, we can do that. What do we need for that? 
We need any of those which we've got. I think we've got all of those, haven't we? No, we haven't got that one yet. Well, have we? Let's go for that one. Okay, so we're going to plan the mission. The payload is going to be this goes. And we can put it with that or that. Or that. Let's, let's put it with that. It's really expensive, though. But that's fine. We got the money now. Um, yeah, China still doesn't like us despite our praise. <laughs> what a surprise. So we're going to build the payload. And we're good to go. So let's just click to the next event. Ariane 1 research complete. Yep. Um, let's research that one as well. Upcoming International Geophysical Year. Oh yeah, there was that, wasn't there? We have to complete the satellite imaging mission. I think we are doing that, aren't we? I think we're going to, but first we're launching an animal into space. Yes, this looks okay. I think this looks okay. Oh, it's raining. Hey, we've got different weather, but the trees are still the same. So uh, we've got weather now. That's good. We've added on the weather expansion DLC. Um, we just need the trees expansion DLC. Bad conditions, 12%. Ah, let's reschedule. May improve or worsen. Yeah, we're going to reschedule. We're not going to go out in the rain. It's just, nah. Um, so we're going to, the Americans are going to get to us first, but we'll reschedule. Can we just reschedule to October? Okay, yeah. So we'll just do it a month back. Yeah, satellite imaging, we are planning. Uh, what research now? Let's unlock contractors. Contractors can bestow unique effects. Okay, let's let's research that. And there's all this stuff on the left-hand side as well. I don't really know what this is doing. So, era one. Ah, right, so this is, we need to do nine out of 13. And that unlocks this. Okay, so let's not do contractors. Oh, right, so if we get all of them, we get this. And if we get all of these, we get this. Whereas missions are... Yeah, there wasn't a boost up there, was there? Oh no, there was. There was. If we get two or more of those, we get plus 5%. Oh yeah, let's do this. Let's research the human in space. Yeah. Okay, right. Next month. Off we go. So the payload has been completed for that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And we're now going to launch an animal in space. Or we're going to try to, anyway. Let is, let's see if it's still raining. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's raining. It's dark. Okay, conditions are adequate. That's that's fine. I'm happy with that. Yeah. No, that doesn't look good. Oh, I thought I was a bit weird there. There was lots of sparks coming out the bottom. Yeah, that that that's a bit worrying. No, seems okay. Whew. Oh yeah. Oh, bonus. So we get plus one power for the duration of the mission. Yay! Good old random event. So that's the Jupiter uh, booster and upper stage tested a bit. Reliability is increased. Nice. Okay, so we got an animal in space. And we're going to do some tests, I guess. 
we've got to collect one comms and two data. I guess this bit is probably getting a little bit repetitive now. It was cool when we first did it. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's very similar. Because we've got loads of power, we can just do... So yeah, I'm going to do that first, and then that. I think I'm just going to do the same things. It's a shame that there isn't a little bit more variation in this. Of course, things go wrong, but that's fine. Maybe there will be later. Maybe there'll be other stuff later on. Oh, almost got there. Almost got to the bonus. Right. So, turn two. Uh, we're going to generate... We're going to put that in and then that in. Yeah. And we'll see if this works. Yep, first bit worked. Yeah, so that's that. And then the second bit worked. Yes. Yeah, so I got the bonus. What that's got to do with... Um... Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's a milestone. Oh, we got first. We got first, did we? I didn't realise that. I thought somebody else had already done that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. We got the first animal in space. Awesome. And a new space PD article has opened. Right. So the satellite imaging is waiting for us to design a vehicle. Uh, can we reuse an old one? No, Brett's not good enough. Um, so we're going to have to design a new one, which is going to be Ariane 1 or Star 37. What is the difference between them? This has got a better launch reliability. It's going to cost a fortune. Uh, and the booster is going to be... Why has that got a number two on it? Oh, gosh, what is this? This is this is new stuff to me. This is telling me that I need a medium launch pad. Oh, wow. Right, yeah, this is really detailed now, isn't it? So... Okay. I don't know, do we need four SRBs or do we need two SRBs? I mean, it increases the build time, it increases the uh, the cost as well. Right, so are we running out of people's names in the chat? Uh, well, we've got another Andrew, it's a different Andrew, so we're going to call this by your surname, Andrew. Falcon. We'll just call it Falcon. There you go, that's a good name. Um, so we, yeah, we can we can build that, I think. No, ah, supplementary SRBs. Oh, my, gosh, we're miles away. We cannot do this for a while yet. We've got to go through all of this. Oh, gosh. Are we going to be able to do this in time? So we need a medium launch pad. Yeah, we're going to have to switch to a medium launch pad. Okay, because we can only research the one thing at once. Uh, yeah, I think... I mean, we could do... We, we do have another mission slot available, so we could... Could take on another mission. So we're doing the satellite imaging. I'm probably going to play until I finish the satellite imaging. That, that's where I'm going to play. I uh, don't think you need the SRBs. Boost is enough. Is it? Let me go back and have a look at this again then. So we're doing... What is it we're doing? Satellite imaging. Let's view the plan. Medium launch pad, pad required, which is what we're, we're doing. Edit the assigned vehicle. So... Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. We, we don't need... 
it's just the reliability. So the reliability goes up. All right, so let's just edit that again. Yeah, so it's now set. I just don't know what this number two is there. There's a number two there as well. So we're gonna go with just the Atlas and not the Ariane. What's the difference? Atlas we haven't researched. Ariane is a lot cheaper. Yeah, I'm not sure now. Uh, you only have a 1500 kilogram payload, so the SRBs would have been overkill. Yeah, okay. So we could put the Delta on, that's got an 85% launch reliability, as opposed to that, which is 60%. So surely we want to put this on? It's a lot more expensive. But I think that's what we're going to build. Now we can build this. Yeah. So we're going to build it. Okay. It's going to take ages to build that. Uh, and then, once we've built the other launch pad, which needs 800 science, but we've got 1,000 coming in for the animal thing that we did. So, yeah. Oh, look at all this stuff that's happening now. Right, so base, build, medium launch pad, 500k. We don't have 500k. Oh, can we, can we, can we auction, sell something off? I don't think we can. Um, there's not much we can do. No, so let's set some research. Can we research something that gets us more money? Like a PR office. <laughs> that's that's going to be expensive as well. Vehicle assembly. Building Hall of Fame. Robotics. Plus one research lab expansion. There's loads of stuff in here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what any of this stuff does. Oh, it's nice that it kept that research. Yeah, so the research that we've put into it, it's kept. Okay, that's good. Uh, two means you have two supplementary items. Oh, okay, right, thank you. Um, I think I might just want to research all of these just to unlock this. Okay, back to the research again for this one. Right, we've got a funding review. Hopefully it's going to go up. Did we get it up? I don't think we did. 472k. Is that enough? Where are the missions? Missions. Yeah, so that's been completed. We need to build the... No, we need 500k. We haven't got 500k yet, but we will have it soon. In the meantime, we can do um, a request. Now, which one of these do we want to do? I want to do the cheap one. Yeah, so this is just to me with a sounding rocket, which we can afford. Yeah. Okay. That done, that done, next month. Okay, and then this is the last one in this section. And next event done. Okay, so yes, we've now got a 5% bonus launch reliability on everything that we do, which is good. Okay, so we've got our atmospheric sampling test. We've got a bonus, look at this, it's now 99%. Yeah, as it should be. So what training should we give them? We don't we don't need this really. I thought we had more options here for training. Oh we do, we have this science one. Increase the science reward. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, launch day as soon as possible. We could launch in April, but no, let's go with May. 
Okay, confirm. Done. Need to set some more research. Now that all that's done, um, boost demolition. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Uh, research lab expansion. So faster development of new technologies. So does that mean we can make it better? Ah, research lab expansion. 200. Ah, we want to build the launch pad. Right, so where's the launch pad going? Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, so this needs to go not next to that. So it gets bonuses for those two buildings. Yeah, we're just going to have to build it. There. It's weird that you can't build like roads between them. <laughs> so yeah, I'll put it there. No, I can't. That's going to cost 1,349 just to knock down a few trees. That's crazy. Crazy costs. If I put it there, it's only going to cost 562k. Why is it so much more expensive here? Okay, I'm going to have to build it here. In fact, it's even cheaper here. Can I not build it somewhere? Can I build it over here? No. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy expensive there. I don't understand this, because there it's having to knock down that, and it's going to cost a thousand extra. But there it's only going to cost 500. And there it's going to cost 1,350. Yeah, that seems a bit crazy. Let's put it here. That's cheaper. Right. Um, okay. Set some more research going. Um, yeah, let's build that. Right, next month. Oh! Open Skies Debate. A global symposium is taking place to establish laws regarding territorial space for orbiting satellites. The proposed treaty states that all nations should have free access to space. Your advisors believe supporting the treaty will improve dip diplomatic relations with the other space agencies, though opposing it may prove popular with sections of our media. Now, we'll support the treaty. So, 10 reputation with all other agencies. Nice. Chinese probably still hate us. Yeah, clearing the hills. Could have been, I guess. Uh, it was just hard to see, because on one of them it looked like I was placing next to the hills. Yeah, we've got the reliability up now, this is really good, so as long as the weather's okay. Which it is. Nice early morning. Bateng, I obviously forgot to rename this one, so sorry Kyle, this should have been named after you. Unless of course you want to change your name by deed poll to Bateng, then, then that's all good. Uh, yeah. Off we go. Right, so what happened during lunch? Well, we got low, but yeah, we were fine, thanks for the reliability. So the sending rocket is now level five, and it is as good as it's gonna get. Right. So, we've got 318K. We're doing the satellite imaging, that is happening soon. Uh, oh, a joint mission. We can do a joint mission with the, uh, with the Chinese. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that's fine. That sounds good. Dog in space. Let's go for the expensive one. Okay. Uh, are we doing research? We are doing research. We're doing that research. 
Okay, so the Falcon is about to be complete. Here we go. This is our satellite imaging thing that we have three years to do. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's really good actually. Happy with that. We need the medium pad launch. Yeah, that's not built yet, but <laughs> it will be. Uh, now, I think we want to go with payload reliability for this one, although base is 96%. Yeah, let's go with launch reliability. So we can't actually set a launch day yet because the medium launch pad is not built yet. We've got four months to build it. Okay. And in the meantime, this has been completed. Uh, and what do we send up that in? I think, no, we don't send that. We're going to have to design a new one. 6% launch reliability. Right, so we need upper stage. This is 500 kilograms, so we need the... Uh, it was the Jupiter, wasn't it? Yeah, Jupiter. Yeah, we, Jupiter is at level one, so we should select. We should use the Jupiter. And Jupiter again for the bottom. Uh, right, this is this is going to be called the Magnificent Coil. There we go. Can we put spaces in it? We can. Fifty-two percent partner discount applied. Nice. Six months build time. Build vehicle. Yes. Okay. Right. So we basically need this launch pad completed. NASA has completed a lunar orbit for the second time. Oh, you can see the stuff going on here. This is really nice. And we can't zoom out yet, but I assume we'll be able to zoom out later on. China has completed animal in space. Medium launch pad is complete. Right, okay, so now we can go back to the mission plan and now we can select a launch day. Uh, and let's do it for... Um, I think let's do it for March. Oh no, let's just do it for December. Okay. Uh, right. Next month. Next month we're doing our satellite imaging. Oh, we've reached era two, so we've unlocked the inner planets. I was just mentioning about that, wasn't I? When are we going to zoom out and see the other planets? Right, we are launching the mission. So this is the satellite imaging mission. Ah, so this is the medium launch pad. Yeah, which is bigger. Different music as well, I think. Okay, so how are we doing? What are the conditions like? Adequate? Yeah, that's fine. We're good to go. Okay, launched without problems. That's the first time we've launched that and that. Okay, right, so our satellite imaging thing is up and running. So we need to collect, oh, we have got some new stuff. So we need three comms, two data, and we need two navigation as well. Right, now, how many turns have we got to do it in? We've got four turns to do it in, but we can do three commands per turn. I think it's the same sort of thing, isn't it? Is it the same sort of thing? It looks like it. So I think the first thing we need to do is we need to put in, we need to ping the location first. Um, oh yeah, no, this is different. <clears throat> Um, yeah, this is quite different, isn't it? So I'm trying to work out what the the most efficient one of these is. 
That's one power in for two comms. Then we can convert one comms into that and that. Okay. Uh, and then we can convert... that into that. Let's see if that works. Because some of these might go wrong. Okay, so that went okay. We've got two comms. Now we're going to do a flyover course adjustment. Did that go okay? Yeah, that went okay. So that converted one comms into one data and one navigation. And then we're going to do some data transmission. which converted that and that into four comms. Right, so we have lots of comms. That is the end of the first turn. Second turn. Kind of want to convert three comms into, into that, because that doesn't use any power. In fact, we've got loads of power. Um, and then we just want to do that. Yeah, and let's do a flyover course adjustment as well. Let's see which one of these works. Yeah, this is like another little mini game. Okay, so we've met that needs. I'm going to put that in. We've got four comms out. Okay, so this is going to meet the objectives, but it's probably not going to allow me to do the bonus reward because it's going to auto-complete the mission, isn't it? No, it's not. Right, okay. So it didn't do it earlier on. Right, nice. It obviously auto-completed it earlier because I did achieve the bonus. Um, so what I need to do is I need, I need a bit more of everything. And I've still got two turns left. So I can do that. I can just do that and that again. And then that should be enough. So that's, I've got six, that's dropping down by three but going up by four. That's going up by three, which is fine. And that's, so I'll just do one of them. Yeah, it should be enough. Oh, we got a bonus. Now, what bonus do we get? Ah, oh, we got a bonus data, nice. Oh, we got another bonus. Look at that. Loads of comms. This is going swimmingly now. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it auto finishes and completes. So I think we're the first person to do that. So satellite imaging, we're the first, uh, which means we've completed three milestone missions. So that was the challenge. Um. Yeah, so we've got loads of stuff. I think that's probably where I'm going to... I said I was going to end it here for tonight, but actually we've got this magnificent Kyle. So I think let's, let's, let's do that first. Right, minus 25% reach search cost for six months. So... Ooh, let's do that. Let's research that. Um... Now, we've got 850k, so we can definitely build stuff. Let's build the research lab expansion. Uh, oh, we've got some negative modifiers here. That's a, that's a good one. Let's do that one. Um, okay, we've got another... Oh, yeah, the geophysical data has been acquired, so we gained another 750k and 200 support. And now we have a funding review where we're going to zoom up. Yeah, so we get more money coming in, which is good. And then we have the dog in space vehicle complete. So this is the magnificent Kyle. Um, yeah, so which one do we want to set it to? I think this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm more concerned with launch reliability than, than anything else. Uh, and we're not in any rush for this one, so 
Yeah, I might do it in June. That gives us a 97% chance. So yeah, I'm not going to launch this. I, I am going to probably end it there. We've got this set for June. Um, but there we go. That has been a first look at Mars Horizon, which is, if you're interested, it's on Steam right now. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you like what you see. I, I really like it. Um, it's a kind of nice sit back, have fun, play it. No pressure, no real-time element. It's got a lot of scientific... Uh, it's based, obviously, on real real science and real stuff. Uh, oh, and here we go. Here, here's the new stuff that we can do. So we can do missions to Venus, uh, missions to Mercury. These are all the different missions here. Um, we've got the Moon. We've got Mars. Yeah, so we've got the inner solar system uh, is next. And then, obviously, you go to the outer solar system uh, Yeah, la later on. So, yeah, thank you very much for keeping me company tonight. Um, it's been good fun, it's been two hours 20 playing through this. Uh, and yeah, there's loads to go. Uh, my only, I mean, I'm really enjoying it and it's really well put together. It's a very, very polished package. Obviously a lot of games when they come out at the moment, they go live and they're full of bugs straight away. It looks, from what I've seen so far, Auroch Digital have done a really good job with this. Um, and it doesn't appear to be full of bugs like some other games that I've played recently that have come out. Um, my only concern at this point is with replayability. Um, is would this be as enjoyable the next time through playing it? I don't know. But playing through it once so far, however many hours this is going to take, um, it's certainly very nicely put together. So uh, yeah, if you do get it and you are uh, one of my supporters, then yeah, just 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 let me know how you get on. See see how you find it. Happy to chat to you about it. Um, yeah, and I might come back and do some more of these. This was part one. Uh, Whenever I get time to play a bit more of it, I may as well live stream it. I'm not going to be playing this without live streaming it. It's just a case of fitting in all of the stuff that I've got to do. So anyway, yeah, one final shout out. If you are watching this and you want to support uh, the channel, support me and support these videos, uh, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. But for now, until next time, take care, everybody. Uh, I'll find the right button on my stream and I'll speak to you later on. Good night, everybody. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.